It's your favorite loke, especially after I spoke. Support the real again. Get rid of the fake, the F you to the industry. How do you fight back? It's simple. All you got to do is just press subscribe, then join the movement over there on Instagram at C-E-D-D-Y-N-A-S-H. One word. That's for you and I can stay in contact. Plus, I'm going to like your pictures and all that. We have 75,000, so we done matched. But when I can, I'm going to follow you back. To the crew, that's the truth. We're out with the visionaries. Let's get into it. So typically, right, in rap, how it go is you wait for about two weeks to three weeks to four weeks to see exactly what the impact is of a song, right? And so I was patiently just waiting. Patiently just waiting, right? <clears throat> and you could tell, like, something about King Von that a lot of these other rappers can't do, right? And I'm going to tell you what it is. I was thinking, I'm like, huh, all right. Yeah, you can say he's slight weight lyrical, but it's not that. I'm not saying that he isn't. I'm saying the thing that stick out about King Von the most than a lot of these other rappers, and I think this is what gravitated a lot of people towards him, was the nigga is believable. You know what I'm saying? A after watching, it, the, the, the the song is cool. You know what I'm saying? song is cool. You can tell he elevating and shit like that and, and finding his path, right? But it's after the song where you can see that little buddy was going to be his own boss, was going to be the engineer of his own operation. Then on top of that, You could tell little buddy is reliving a lot of this shit. And you could tell it's a lot of disappointment, right? And I think the thing about King Von passing is disappointment. I think that's the shit that hits the most with people about King Von. It's, he has a believable side to him. Because you don't hear too many. I don't. Betty, I'm going to be honest with you. You don't hear nobody saying King Von was fake. He a lame or none of that, right? It's the believability. And I'm understanding that more and more and more. The more I start to read the comments and I start to look at the reaction and shit like that and everything about how people perceive and take King Von, right? So as I'm sitting there and I'm watching, because I normally don't do reaction videos to people's videos, but... It's the after the video shit that copy, right? And the best thing that happened for him is also some of the worst shit that happened to him, right? The best thing that happened for him is that him separating away from Lil Dirt allowed him to grow on his own and create other connections and all that. I seen Cuz do a song with Niggas from New York, niggas from Philly, but he was out there though. You know what I'm saying? Which is like, some of y'all be like, nah, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. But part of that street shit that be it all of us when you come from the streets is, you gotta see it, bro. You gotta judge it. You gotta smell it. You know what I'm saying? You damn near gotta feel it with your eyes so that you know that these cats that you're dealing with is real, right? Because what we don't wanna do is we don't wanna link with no weak ass dudes. Then on top of that, right? We're looking at King Von like, okay, you're going to find the right switch. You're going to find the right switch, right? And the more I look at it, everybody just disappointed, bro. What Lil' Tim did, allegedly, is what come with the streets, right? But also at the same time, King Von played that the wrong way, too. But that's what loyalty will get you, man. Loyalty will get you in some crazy ass places. I can guarantee you, ask anybody who's thugging. And I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a be honest with a story, right? And I'm not going to say cuz name. And it's nothing major that happened, so it is what it is. But I remember one of the homies was going off on this dude on Facebook, right? I'm not going to say cuz name or nothing like that. 
And he was, you know, talking, blah, 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 and all that. And another dude started talking. So, you know, that, that's my homie, you know what I'm saying? It's actually an older homie, too. So I jump off, you know what I'm saying? Jump off the ledge. And, nigga, we do, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, we, we ain't say we ain't doing all that on, on Facebook, nigga, blah, 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 and everything like that. So I'm up with it, too, you know what I'm saying? That's my bro, you know what I'm saying? I done held him down a couple of times and all that and everything like that. But here's what the other dude did. He didn't back down on nothing he was saying. He wasn't scared. He wasn't sissified. He hit me up in the inbox. And he was like, bruh, this is the situation. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? Da, 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 I'm like, yeah. He like, so you know he wrong. I said, right or wrong, I got to roll with my bro. Period. I don't care. And yes, the homie was a thousand percent wrong. One thousand. But that's how it go. Your loyalty sometimes will be something that defines your wrong actions. And all you can do is stand on your loyalty. We seen videos with Quando Rondo and King Von kicking it and everything like that. Like they was cool. So you knew that King Von probably felt the familiarity. Like, nigga, if we squabble, it's just going to be a squabble. That's what I truly believe is the reason for him just hauling off and, and stealing on Quando Rondo. And I feel like Quando Rondo probably felt like, nigga, we could have had words. You could have hollered at me and everything like that. Like, nigga, this is now a business. Rap is now a business. But even when people are thinking business-minded and you keep street dudes around you, it's going to be streets no matter what. Y'all could go back to the situation with Game and 50 Cent outside of that New York station. If game would have been on out there on some, bro, we need to have this man to man and everything like that, and his people would have calmed down and everything like that, ain't no telling what would have happened. It probably would have been able to be fixed to the situation and all that. Now, game did better for it. 50 did better for it. But at the end of the day, King Von loyalty is what really got him gone. And the problem that people won't admit is everybody is disappointed because they was curious to see if that level of gangsterism was going to hit mainstream. Because I could tell you this, if King Von would have blew up to the number one artist, man, it would have been cats getting out the penitentiary from manslaughter charges, walking straight to goddamn record deals fresh out of Cook County. I can guarantee it because what the industry wants is another one and another one and another one and another one just like the homie said he was like because i done sold a pound of whatever but these rappers talk about they sell hella pounds so even if i jump in the rap game just talk about my one nigga i got a lie inside i sold like 20 of them i'm just like Kel, yeah you're right so it's always the overdue part man but at the end of the day, man, we live with this unfortunateness, unfortunateness about King Von. And that's the thing, man. That's truly the thing. So that's my reaction to a demon time, I think that's what it's called. A demon. Yeah, I think it's just demon. But and I, I listened to it and you could, you know, he was talking about you know, my homie basically who didn't really do shit and everything like that. And he was talking about giving the cats his old shoes and all this shit. And I'm just like, it's a thousand niggas out there like King Von that's doing life or dead because of their loyalty. And that street loyalty, that shit is different, bro. Especially when you got a genuine one. It wasn't King Von raps that made me function with little buddy. It was when he got a hundred bands. It came back to the hood, sat it on the table, and broke it down with his homies. Nigga, I ain't never seen nothing like that since Big Meech, bro. Never. Never. And that's why we live with the disappointment. <laughs> Run my outro, please.
Y'all expect me to keep it real? Because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street the Music, Setting Nash, if you have not. It's on all streaming platforms. Guaranteed you're going to find something you like. Probably like that overly thugging freestyle. Or maybe something different. Let me know in the comments. We possibly shoot that music video. Oh, you want to learn how to win that free Xbox or PlayStation to concert tickets? Or just a gift card in general? Simple. Be an active subscriber. What does that mean? The more you like, the more you comment, the more you share these videos, the higher your chances are increased to win. Simple. We're going to give away that specific item that you choose at 60,000 subscribers. That's six zero. Make sure, make sure you increase your chances to win. This is free to y'all. It's only costing me. And I'm going to personally deliver it to you. How you like the sound of that? Cool? Catch you at the next video. Check out the previous videos, too.